Hicks and I'm Mr. Farmer. I'd like to begin by welcoming the six newest board members. And I also want to address a very large elephant in this room. And that's that these meetings have a little bit different of a feel to them lately, don't they? What we witnessed today, I saw some critical thinking. I saw an ex executive director who treated the public with respect as opposed to Mary Robinson's approach. And it looked like a well-oiled machine here, and it was impressive. As one of your biggest critics in the past, I must say I'm impressed and uh, hopeful for the future. There's still some old wounds, though, that are going to take some healing because of the history between the public and the Texas Medical Board. There's a proverb that says, you reap what you sow. And my question is, if what the Texas Medical Board reaped today was dozens of frustrated cancer patients on the sidewalk outside of their building and documentary filmmakers in the room who are attempting to expose an injustice, what has the Texas Medical Board been sowing? I would like to state that I think that the case against Dr. Brzezinski is a classic textbook witch hunt. This throw everything at these doctors and see what sticks approach, not only is it a waste of the doctor's time, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of your time, and that needs to be reined in, whether it's through the legislative session, whether it's through you all are changing their decisions, something needs to be done about the throw everything at the doctor, see what sticks approach. I wrote about that in Austin Fit Magazine in September. It's something I've been talking about for a long time, and it needs to stop. It's completely unacceptable. I would also like to echo the sentiments that someone said earlier about some concerns uh, about the legal staff. Um, I heard Ms. Swanholm today say that the judge said that Dr. Brzezinski is of some value to the cancer community. That's not what he said. He said significant value to the cancer community. I was at the SOA hearing when we all needed to be evacuated from the room because board staff forgot to redact names from the documents. If there's one thing that I leave you all with today, members of the board, please be skeptical of these staff members. I, know, I don't know how you look at it, if, if they're your team members because you're all TMV, I don't know how it, is, how, how it looks from your perspective. Please be skeptical of them when they bring cases to your attention and please read the proposal for decisions carefully. I think that's vital. I almost threw up in my mouth when I heard Ms. Swanholm talk about Dr. Brzezinski overcharging patients. According to Texas Medical Records, Open Records Department, one SOA hearing against Dr. Brzezinski was $177,000 with over $100,000 to expert witnesses. That's taxpayer dollars. You may argue it's not because the money comes from licensing, etc. That money is designed to help keep people safe from criminal doctors, doctors who are perhaps hurting patients, overprescribing medications, not from innovative doctors. Thank you. Thank you.